Hello guys, you are welcome to Chris Control Automation. Today we are going to look at forward and reverse control circuit wiring and explanation. So let's get started. We have our overload relay that is 9596. We have our stop button 1 and 2. We have our forward start button. The interlock on the K2 that is the reverse contactor. And then our forward contactor coil A1. This is the hold on on this contactor, the 1314. Now let's continue with the reverse side. We have our start button, that is the reverse start button. Interlock on the K1. We have our reverse contactor coil. And then this is the hold on, the K2. Now let's pick our live line, line one. Okay. Let's begin the wiring from line 1 to 95, from 96 to the stop button 1, from 2 on the stop button to 3 on the forward start, from 4 on the forward start to 21 on the K2 interlock, from 22 to A1 of the forward contactor coil. All right, now we are going to wire the hold on. That is 1314 in parallel with the forward start button. So from 3 to 13. And then from 4 to 14. Now we are done with the forward side. Okay. So we are going to continue with the reverse. So from the 2 to 3 on the reverse start button. From 4 to 21 on the K1 interlock. From 22 to A1 of the reverse contactor coil. All right. Okay. Let's wire the hold on 1314, the K2 on the reverse contactor in parallel with the reverse start button. Okay. From 3 to 13. From 4 to 14. So now we are done with this side. Okay. The wiring. It is left with the neutral side. So our neutral line will be connected to A2 of the forward contactor and then we tap from the A2 to the A2 of the reverse contactor. Alright, now we are done with the wiring. We are coming to operate the circuit and see how it will behave, okay? Now, the overload is 95 and this is normally closed. Our stop button, it is normally closed. So now current is flowing, okay, through the 95 and through the stop button all right to this point okay so now we are coming to operate the motor in the forward direction okay so now you see here this is 2122 okay on this contactor that is the reverse contactor it is normally closed so when we energize okay the forward contactor by pressing the forward start let's see what will happen okay so we are going to press on it as you press on it you see that the K1 is energized, all right? As it's energized, this K1, the, the hold on, it is now closed. It is serving as a hold on so that as this forward start is open, so current will flow through this close contact, through this close contact to maintain the K1. As the K1 energized, let's see the arrow. This K1 here, it is open, okay? First, it was closed. But now that the K1 is energized, this contact is open. All right? Yes. So now, as it is open, all right, even if accidentally someone presses on the reverse start button, because this contact is open, there is no way the reverse contactor would energize. So let's see how it will behave. We are going to press on the reverse start button. Let's see. As you press on it, okay? See that now current is flowing through this side, okay, to this side. Because this contact is open, there is no way the K2 can energize. All right? Okay. So this is how it will behave. All right? When the forward contactor is energized, there is no way the reverse contactor should also energize. All right? In vice versa. So now we are going to stop or de-energize the forward contactor. All right? By pressing on the stop button. Okay? Yes. So now it is de-energized. As it de-energized, let's see here. This hold on contact, okay, it is now open back, all right. 
now this contact it is now closed back okay so it means that now we can start the reverse contactor or we can energize the reverse contactor okay now let's press on the reverse start button as you press on it now current is flowing through okay through the start the reverse button okay to energize this k2 as the k2 is energized this hold on all right is closed so now that the reverse button is open current is also flowing through this way through this close contact okay through this close contact on the k1 to maintain the k2 that is the reverse contactor as the reverse contactor k2 is energized let's see this contact it is also open right so even if we press on the forward start button okay because this contact is open there is no way the k1 would energize let's press and see so now i'll press it okay you see that current is flowing through to this point okay and it cannot continue because this contact is open all right okay so engineers this is how the forward and reverse circuit operates okay the control circuit all right so now let's de-energize the reverse contactor all right okay so now we have finished explaining the forward and reverse control wiring it is so simple okay so now this contact all right this contact okay they are called electrical interlocks okay they prevent one contactor from energizing when the first contactor energizes okay so when k1 energize there's no way k2 should energize at the same time when k2 energizes there is no way k1 should also energize okay so engineers this is a simple um control diagram for forward and reverse okay yeah so please if you want to understand the contactor wiring all right yes the animation all right then i'll urge you that you watch this video or if you want to see the physical wiring the practical wiring then watch this video too okay yes so please if you are new to this channel then i will urge you that you subscribe to this channel okay for more videos and then also you like the video all right you put down your comment then you share the video to your friends okay so i'll see you in my next tutorials thank you